Dallas and Cortez bringing a bit of Sonoma Harvest to the Texas at their October 12th Harvest Dinner at Parigi featuring wines from Jordan in Alexander Valley. And our wine and spirits expert, Haley Hamilton Cogill, is here with her hubby, board member Gary Cogill, to talk <laughs> about <member>. farm to table <laughs> event benefiting two great local I'm charities. I'm that board. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Y'all are so cute together. You're my, he's on my board for Dallas Cheers. on Cork, so I make, it, I make it legit well, for Gary to join me. It's to have your husband on, on I the think board. So. Yeah. Yes, it's so. good, good move. All right, so <laughs> yeah. tell me about this event. It's such a great event, and and as we just referenced, Jordan Winery is in Sonoma County. Uh -huh. They they started something a couple years ago called their estate tour. Their their estate in Alexander Valley is really really beautiful. We have a couple photos um, that we're going to show you, and oh. basically it's to go throughout their vineyards, trying the wines paired with with product grown on the actual estate. They have an acre um, large garden. Um, they grow, they have cattle, they have orchards, they, they grow their own olives. Mm. And so they really take you all throughout the property, yeah. tasting their wine paired with food from the property. And basically what we wanted to do with our harvest dinner this year, Dallas and Cork, it's our, it's our sixth one to do it. It's uh -huh. I think the third one we've done with, with Janice at Parigi. Um, is bring a little bit of that here. Right. Basically, Jordan is going to, in addition to their wines, we're going to have their olive oil. We're gonna have oh, um, pretty much anything that's in season. Their actual chef at Jordan is gonna send Janice a crate and we get to kind of play. I think there's that's gonna be awesome. a little olive oil cake. I know that figs are in season. Yes. I think that we'll have um, maybe some apples, so some of that quarter mm -hmm. orchard fruit. Um, at at this dinner and um, paired with both current vintage Jordan, we do have a little bit of their just classic California Chardonnay in our glass, um, as well as a couple library um, vintages of both their Chardonnay and their Cab. Fantastic, fantastic wines and and a real fun experience. And then it is benefiting Cafe Momentum's getting lots of yeah. love today on the a lot broadcast. Of love for Cafe okay. um, Janice uh, was one of the co-founders of, mm -hmm. of Cafe Momentum, so it will benefit Cafe Momentum as well as the Stew Pot, which helps um, kind of help our our homeless in downtown Dallas. Really. And for people that aren't familiar with Cafe Momentum, could you tell us more about that? Absolutely. It's it's basically a charity that Janice and, and Chef Chow, Chad Hauser started to um, really help kids in Dallas get into the culinary profession, um, maybe some that were at risk, and, mm -hmm. and kind of find a way to 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 go on a better path and so love that cool. and then as yeah. well as the stew pot we've done this event always benefiting the stew pot just because if, if you're gonna really think about what the holidays mean as we kind of head into them i think it's a really great charity to, yeah. to focus you know, on i also so. think that the culinary arts uh really help a lot of people that might be struggling mm -hmm. and you find some people find their voice through cooking yeah. through well, chefing you, and you I, think I, and i think it's really an amazing <laughs> thing to watch that especially some yeah. of these kids that are 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, and they're at risk, and then they find their style. Yes. They find their voice yes. through food, which yes. is really amazing. Also, I have to say this about my lovely wife. Please when do. You, when you come to one of these dinners, and I'm I'm not romanticizing this. It's Aww. a small group of about 40 to 50 people. I was going to ask you. And okay. it's all at Parigi's, and everything about it is intimate and beautiful and perfect. And not only are the wines great, but the food is great. And Janice Provost, who knocks it out of the yeah. park there. It's but, a nice thing. It's but on this a is like night. the ultimate host for one of those. You know, it's not a dinner with 400 people it's, and somebody intimate, speaks at the private. other end of the room. It's a, it's a conversation with about 40 of us just around the table, and it's beautiful. Getting and to know about this winery, yeah. and then and also products. give into this charity. And it's yeah. Janice's whole focus is really that whole farm to table. She works with a lot of local farmers, and mm -hmm. so bringing in her perspective as well as, as what these products do. The nice thing it is, it is on a Sunday night, and Parigi is closed on Sunday, and so we have the whole space. It's, be quiet. it's kind of going to be a couple yeah. long tables. We only have... We have okay. very, very few um, tickets number available. Tickets. Right. Yeah, okay. Now we've invited Bono and James Taylor, but I'm not sure they're going to be there. We, oh, we're hoping, I will we're be there for them for sure. Just for, this, yeah. But Haley, you're so good at introducing people, especially on our show, to just beautiful wines that mm. we wouldn't know about. And it, I think a lot of it has to do with your travel Thank you. and you going there and just taking the pictures and then bringing it and showing yeah. us and then bringing the wine. Of course, we love that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think that that's really that's the joy of what I get to do, and especially with with what Dallas and Cork has done. And, and that we, my whole point when I started Dallas and Court 10 years ago was to create an environment for for people to try wine that was very fun and entertaining, mm -hmm. um, not pretentious, and maybe try something that that is out of the norm or not what they normally That's would right. get. I mean, Jordan has been around for 40 years. It's it's a fantastic winery in Sonoma, um, and so being able to partner with them in particular on this event, and especially because their philosophy is so much about really supporting um, clean farming and sustainability mm -hmm. and those, yes. those sort of things. We're so all about that too, yeah, especially fantastic. at Taste Texas. So can I try? Absolutely, yeah. this is this for me. Yes, fantastic. A I'm excited for you. Is this all right? 
I'm like doing my sideways mm. bit here. Why well, didn't smoke, even cheer you? But know, buttery, thank you so much for bringing this. Buttery smoke Buddha. <laughs> I, I seriously <laughs> take your advice like, to heart because you. you turned me on to Raymond, and cheers. then now, cheers. cheers. And now I buy cheers. Raymond, and so now I'm going to go check out Jordan. It looks like a beautiful wine and a wonderful cheers. event that you're hosting. I'm excited for y'all to be a part. Be a good time. So there are a handful of tickets still left, and uh, they're eighty-five dollars each at DallasUncorked.org. All right. Up next on the broadcast, a look at what Shakespeare Dallas is doing this fall. Y'all stay with us. What's up? What light are you on Windows face? It is the East and Juliet is the sun. <laughs>